മലയാളത്തിൽ വെറും എട്ട് സിനിമകളെ ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ളൂ എങ്കിലും മലയാളികൾ ഏറ്റവും കൂടുതൽ അന്വേഷിച്ചു കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്ന നമ്മുടെ പ്രിയപ്പെട്ട നായികയാണ് ഫിലിംസ് എന്നൊരു മോശം അനുഭവം ഉണ്ടായിട്ട് പോയതാണ് I respect my privacy too much. And it was a beautiful exit Meenakshi Shariana. because technological terms I'm a ghost <laughs> because I'm not on Facebook, I'm not on Instagram, I'm not on any And the no parna projects are there in ma'am na norme. I remember one uh, it was with Mamuti sir. Which one was? But I have to tell you this beautiful experience I had with Mamuti sir. Yeah. ഡിസ്റ്റർബിംഗ് <laughs> that i've done very few films i've not done like recent day din malayala cinema kandirunno yes and i cried and cried and cried and hats off to you mamuti sir and jyotika ma'am it was kadal their equation you know in that movie that is kadal athre sundariyai yakshi vinayan sir kondu vannu nokka parangitte annu kanda avu saundaryam innum ide pole engane nilanirukku oh my god <laughs> this is like a very very shy moment no i don't know ഹായ് ബ്രിബാരി വെൽക്കം ടു ഓൺ എയർ വിത്ത് മീനാക്ഷി നമ്മുടെ മലയാളത്തിൽ വെറും എട്ട് സിനിമകളെ ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ളൂ മലയാളികൾ ഏറ്റവും കൂടുതൽ അന്വേഷിച്ചു കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്ന നമ്മുടെ പ്രിയപ്പെട്ട നായികയാണ് മീനാക്ഷി അതായത് എനിക്ക് തോന്നുന്നു ഇരുപത് വർഷങ്ങൾക്ക് ശേഷമായിരിക്കും നമ്മളിപ്പം ഈ ഒരു മുഖം കാണുന്നത് എന്നാലും എത്ര സുന്ദരിയായിട്ടായിരിക്കുന്നത് അപ്പം മീനാക്ഷി മാമിനെ ഞാൻ എന്തായാലും ഈ ഷോയിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം ചെയ്യുന്നു ഐ ഹോപ്പ് യു നോ മൈ നെയിം എനിക്ക് സത്യം പറഞ്ഞാൽ മീനാക്ഷി എന്ന് വിളിക്കണോ ഐ മീൻ ഷാർമിലി വിളിക്കണോ ഷാർമില വിളിക്കണോ ഐ എം കൺഫ്യൂസ് എന്താണ് ലൈക്ക് ശരിക്കും മാമിന് കംഫർട്ടബിൾ ഈ ഇന്റർവ്യൂല് വിളിക്കുന്നത് ഏത് പേരാണ് മാമിന് പേഴ്സണലി ഇഷ്ടം So Meenakshi mm-hmm. my name is Sharmili mm-hmm. okay? Sharmili Sharmili okay. which means shyness uh. and why because my dad loved Sharmila Tagore's song called mm-hmm. O Meri Sharmili oh. and so named me Sharmili so I did not change my name mm-hmm. in the Malayalam industry it's just that the first film I did mm-hmm. was called Kaka Karumban mm-hmm. in that my character name is Meenakshi, Meenakshi. So I think people liked that character a lot and then they just started calling me Meenu Meenu mm. and in fact it's very surprising because I'm a Catholic ah. and every Tuesday I go to St. Anthony's church mm. and when I would go there people would be surprised to think why is Meenakshi in St. Anthony's church oh, oh, okay oh. so I didn't change my name it's just that my character fell in place and people started calling me Meenakshi mm. so you can please call me Meenu because I think the Kerala industry loves me as Meenu we know yeah. exactly and Nedi Mudi Venu sir uh-huh. I would always say the name is so perfect for you because you have eyes, eyes like a fish uh-huh. so yeah അത് പണ്ട് എന്നോടും ആൾക്കാർ പറയാറുണ്ടായിരുന്നു കണ്ണ് ഭയങ്കര സിമിലർ ആണ് അങ്ങനെ പേരിട്ടതാണോ നേരത്തെ മലയാളികളുടെ സ്നേഹം പറഞ്ഞല്ലോ മാം യു നോ സംതിങ് ഇപ്പം മലയാളത്തിൽ നിന്ന് കുറെ ഹീറോയിൻസ് അഭിനയിച്ച് പോയിട്ടുണ്ട് ലേറ്റർ ഓൺ അവരുടെ ലൈക് തിരിച്ചു വരവുകള് ഇന്റർവ്യൂസ് എല്ലാം നമ്മൾ കണ്ടിട്ടുണ്ട് എങ്കിലും ഈ എട്ട് സിനിമകൾ ചെയ്തുള്ളൂ എങ്കിലും ഏറ്റവും കൂടുതൽ ആൾക്കാർ നമുക്ക് ഇന്റർവ്യൂ വേണം വേണം എവിടെയാണ് ഇവർ ഇപ്പോ എന്ത് ചെയ്യാണ് എന്ന് അന്വേഷിച്ചുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്ന ഒരു നെയ്മാണ് മാമിന്റെ ഓക്കെ സോ എവിടെയായിരുന്നു ഇത്രയും കാലം മീനാക്ഷി ഐ ഹാവ് നെവർ പ്ലാൻ മൈ ലൈഫ് ഓക്കെ മൈ മോട്ടു ഇസ് മൈ പ്ലാൻ ഇസ് നോ പ്ലാനിങ് സോ തിങ്സ് ഓൾവേസ് ഫെൽ ഇൻ പ്ലേസ് and when it fell in place i just made use of the situation mm-hmm. so i give 2000% to the situation that i am in and oh. i give the best to that mm-hmm. situation so uh 
I started modeling. It happened automatically. It just fell in place. I think I was one model who didn't even do a portfolio. I had a TV show. It became a hit. Mm. With that, I started getting ads and modeling and everything. And then I was doing my masters in computers. I had no plans to enter films because I come from a very strict family. Oh, wow! No. Yes, okay. and my dad. If there's anybody calling for a film role, my dad would be like, "No, she's studying and she can't do films." Oh. You know, he was so strict. So it's just that my batch was the batch which was affected by the twin tower attack mm -hmm. uh, because IT really crashed, and mm. I was doing my masters in computers. Okay. So when that thing happened. I said, okay, I'm getting film offers. Let me try films. Okay, so that's how I started doing films, and and I gave my best to films. Okay, as I was doing films, uh, it so happened that my parents wanted me to now get married and settle and start a family, and so that also fell in place. And when it was time to dedicate myself for family life, oh. I dedicated. So I think it was a perfect exit. Mm -hmm. Because I won the Critics Award for uh, Kaka Karumban, yeah, and then that is the time, you know, I had to settle down in my family life. Mm -hmm. So I settled and gave my complete self. Mm. So I did not disappear. Mm. I think it just so happened; it fell in place. Mm. And at that time, I gave my best to that situation. Situation. So that's it. Okay. Yeah. But any angle na karangi thering or a comeback na kaya or a chance ondo. Ah. Okay. <laughs> so again i'm not planning <laughs> so you see i am very spiritual mm. and i always believe in an inner calling mm. okay so what happened minakshi mm. is that uh, i suddenly started hearing like my friends started sending me some social media thing mm. wherein it said minakshi everyday mm. okay yes so i'm not in social media mm. again because i respect my personal life and i don't put it on media mm. So I'm thinking after this long, people are still asking Minakshi every day. Mm. Okay. So then I I gave that a thought. Then I came to Kerala with my girlfriends, my mm. college friends, and you know people were taking pictures as usually, and they started answering that question as Minakshi every day. Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I am like, oh my god, this is like serious stuff. So then my manager calls me. and she says look you know it's been so long and people are still remembering you and they want you back mm. and be it my husband or my friends have always been encouraging me they never said no. my, even my husband never said don't do you know he said whenever whatever you have the freedom mm. so all that time i never thought that i should enter but suddenly looking at all of this i felt an inner calling oh. that Okay, you know I also have the time, so let me give it a shot. Wow! Okay? So that's how it has started. I have absolutely no plans, mm. but it's just falling in place. And I think right now I've kept my gates open, mm. and let's see where it goes. Exactly. That's all. തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും അതേപോലെ ഒരു ഇന്ന കോളിംഗ് കൊണ്ടും ആ ഒരു ഇത് കൊണ്ടും ആയിരിക്കും പെർഫെക്റ്റ് ആയിട്ട് ഇപ്പം നമുക്ക് ഈ ഒരു ഇന്റർവ്യൂ ഇങ്ങനെ കിട്ടിയത് കാരണം മലയാളത്തിൽ ഇപ്പം ഈ ഒരു ബ്രേക്കിന് ശേഷം എനിക്ക് ഉറപ്പാണ് ഇതാണ് മീനാക്ഷി മാമിന്റെ ഫസ്റ്റ് എവർ എക്സ്ക്ലൂസീവ് ഇന്റർവ്യൂ ഓൺ ജാങ്കോ സ്പേസ് അപ്പം എനിക്ക് മാമിനെ കൊണ്ടുവരാൻ പറ്റിയതില്ല എന്റെ പ്രേക്ഷകർക്ക് മുമ്പിൽ കൊണ്ടുവരാൻ പറ്റിയതില്ല ഐ എം സോ ഗ്ലാഡ് Mm. makeup and saree and everything just after the shoot mm. so i think again mm. as my life has taken me things are just falling in place yeah. and i'm going see i i if you've heard osho mm. i'm a big follower of osho mm. and i read a lot of his books and he says always go with the flow yes the minute you stop okay uh then you start having issues but when you go with the flow and accept things that are happening then it's peace you know exactly so i'm just going with the flow and let's see where life takes me in the second innings so yeah നൈസ് ആ ഒരു ഫ്ലോ ഇങ്ങനെ വരട്ടെ എന്ന് നമ്മളും എന്തായാലും പ്രതീക്ഷിക്കുകയാണ് മാം സാധാരണ ഒരു നടി ഒരു ബ്രേക്ക് എടുത്തിട്ട് പോകുമ്പോഴത്തേക്കും നമുക്ക് പല റൂമേഴ്സ് കേൾക്കാം അതായത് വീട്ടുകാർ നോ പറഞ്ഞതാണ് കല്യാണം കഴിഞ്ഞ് പോയതാണ് ഫിലിംസ് എന്നൊരു മോശ അനുഭവം ഉണ്ടായിട്ട് പോയതാണ് പല റൂമർ കേൾക്കാം ഇനി വിക്കിപീഡിയ നോക്കിയപ്പോൾ എന്താ വിക്കിപീഡിയ കിടക്കണം എന്താ പഠിക്കാനായിട്ട് പോയതാണെന്നാണ് നോ ഐ തിങ്ക് ഐ സ്റ്റഡീഡ് എ ലോട്ട് ഇൻ ടൈം അതെ ഇപ്പോൾ റൂമേഴ്സ് എല്ലാം ആയിക്കട്ടെ വിക്കിപീഡിയം എല്ലാം ആയിക്കട്ടെ ഞാൻ ഇവിടെ നേരിട്ട് മീനാക്ഷി മാമിൻ്റെ അടുത്ത് ചോദിക്കാനാണ് എന്തായിരുന്നു അപ്പോൾ അങ്ങനെ ഒരു ബ്രേക്ക് വരാനായിട്ട് കാര്യം You're asking me the reason why yeah, the break. Yeah. 
See, I already answered that question. I had to prioritize my family okay. life, mm -hmm. okay? And hats off to people who are able to manage mm -hmm. family and, uh, you know, whatever uh, line they come mm -hmm. from. But I just wanted to give it my heart, mind and mm -hmm. soul. And, uh, you know, we've been doing a lot of traveling and oh. stuff, you know. So I enjoy that mm -hmm. process. And again, I just repeated that it was just a calling, mm -hmm. you know. I think it had to happen now. Otherwise, my husband was always okay. He's mm. always encouraging. And he would be like, whenever you want to, you can move on and whatever. You know, there's absolutely no restrictions. Restrictions. Okay? Mm. Restriction is something that I put on mm. to myself because mm. I wanted to prioritize that period of my mm. life. And now I'm really happy because I feel I'm getting the time mm. and I feel there is a calling. Mm. So I'm doing it. So absolutely no rumors. Everything is perfectly <laughs> fine. I think I'm overly educated. It's not because of an education that I just needed to prioritize family. Yeah, that's all. I was excited to see the first film in the Critics Award. Yes. Uh, best debut in actress. Yes. 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 I think it's just me, you know, Meenakshi, this is the way I am. Uh -huh. I never look back, I don't have regrets. Because when in that particular time, I give my 100% mm. or maybe 200%, mm. there's absolutely no regret to look back. So I have actually in life, I have no regrets. Mm. You know, I think I've lived my life to the fullest mm. and at the correct time, acted to whatever I needed to act so there is no regret of course you know a lot of people said you are just are you sacrificing this for your family uh, life uh, uh. I never looked at it as sacrifice at all mm. you know because it was my call right okay. now so I understand if, if it's forced upon you mm. no you can't do then maybe you're sacrificing but I had no force I had no pressure it's it a choice my decision yeah. to do this and see that's why maybe today again I have no regrets mm -hmm. you know I think I gave it all my time and maybe if I would started earlier I wouldn't have had this uh, this time you mm. know right now I feel I have the time and also this Meenakshi every day and Meenakshi every day mm. and all that stuff just pushed me into it wow. so there's absolutely no regrets wow. I think my friends were regretting mm. they're like you should be doing ads you should be doing this you should be doing that you are saying no because even after marriage, I was offered a lot of ads and mm -hmm. things and I would just say no because mm. maybe it's like a five day shoot, a national ad and I just wasn't ready. Mm. You know, I hope you understand sometimes you need to be ready mm. and I think now I'm ready. Ready, wow. So now my options are open, my gates are open and we'll see what happens. So no regrets. Coming back to your question, there's absolutely no regrets. No regrets. No regrets. Wow. Guys, we're going to get out of here. This is what we're going to talk about. This is what we're going to talk about. Yes. I'm going to talk about the interview. I'm going to talk about the interview for 2-3 years. I'm going to talk about the interview for a long time. So I'm going to go to Instagram and search for me. Yes. Meenakshi actress. That's why Meenakshi is an actor official. Yes. Ma'am, she didn't have a name for Margaret. I couldn't find yes. any accounts over yes. there. Why are you talking about social media? Okay. okay, so I'm an extremely personal person. Mm. I respect my privacy too much. Mm. And I think, um, uh, well, I'm not judging anybody. But for me, my privacy and my pers personal life is very important. Mm. Okay, so... Um, I don't know the social media being up there and you know saying okay right now I'm in the mall or right now mm. I'm in the beach I couldn't do that because mm. again it, it talks about my privacy mm. right so I think in technological terms I'm a ghost <laughs> because I'm not on Facebook I'm not on Instagram I'm not on anything because I don't know I was never attracted to it oh. you know so I have great friends I'm I speak to them I meet them I'm on whatsapp for whatever reason, but I don't know. I just, I just didn't find the necessity to be out there. Either where I'm going to necessity, either mission where I don't need to hear. No, no. Upon like industry le naarak na current gossip pum trend mom na maarilla. No, I know nothing. I know nothing. I know nothing. You know, I, I see this proves that 
I've just been so dedicated to family and my friends and everything. So I don't know. I don't get attracted to gossip because firstly, I don't believe in gossip. And uh, if there is anything, it would maybe come out at one point in time. I, I don't care about what's happening in someone else's life. It's mm. their personal life and I don't gossip. So, um, yeah, I, I think I'm, I'm in a space where these things just don't matter to me. Completely social media. Yeah. I'm a personal yeah. life leader. Yeah. <laughs> For example, <laughs> if you know, I'm on a holiday mm. with my family mm. and if there are people coming to click pictures, mm. I would say, like if if we are on the beach or in the pool or something like that, I would request them, mm. but not right now, because uh -huh. this is my private moment. Mm -hmm. I will give you 100 pictures separately, mm. but not when I'm with my family having my private moment, mm. you know. So this is how I am in Akshi. Mm. So I didn't change in any which way. I've always been like that. Mm. I always maintain because I'm a very, very basic, simple person in real life. And media is full of lights and jazz and everything. So Attention. I don't mix yeah, both, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. I go back home as a very basic person. Mm. And when I'm out, I do what I need to, wow. you know, for media. And that's the reason I love Keanu Reeves. Mm -hmm. Do you know who Keanu Reeves no, is? Okay, he's know. a Hollywood actor. <laughs> he's done movies like Matrix and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So if you check about him, uh -huh. he leads such a basic life. Oh. He still takes the metro. Mm -hmm. and uh, there is no jazz around him mm -hmm. he rides his bike he's he's hanging around with normal people taking the bus standing mm -hmm. in the bus stand mm -hmm. and because he feels that's his personal personality okay so when he's in the media line he is who he is mm -hmm. but when he's back as as Keanu Reeves as as this home person he is that person the same. Oh. yeah so, but it's very difficult to balance that. Mm. So maybe that's the reason I don't want to mix these two. I don't take profession back home mm. and I don't talk about home in during my profession. Oh. So, yeah, there's no complication. You know, I simple don't think life anybody life. should get confused. It's Life is very basic and very simple for me and I keep it that way. That way. That yeah. way. If I'm social media, I have updates and make a car and show you about my mother. I'm going to show you about the actors. Okay. Mm. If ും <laughs> 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 അദ്ദേഹത്തിന്റെ ഫിലിംസ് ഒക്കെ ഇപ്പം നോട്ട് ജസ്റ്റ് ഇൻ കേരള അതിങ്ങനെ പടർന്ന് പടർന്ന് ഇന്ത്യ മൊത്തം പോവാറുണ്ട് റീസെന്റ്ലി ആട് ജീവിതം ഒക്കെ കണ്ടിരുന്നോ മാം ഓക്കെ അപ്പൊ ഈ ഒരു ഗ്രോത്ത് മാം ഇപ്പൊ മാം അറിഞ്ഞിട്ടില്ലെങ്കിൽ ഞാൻ ഇപ്പൊ പറയാണ് ഹൗ ഡു യു സീ ദിസ് ഒരു കോവാക്ടർ ആണ് hundred times more mm. that uh, I will be the happiest person that they are all growing in their line and good luck to oh. all of them. Okay. You know? Yeah, I'm very happy. Mm. ആടുജീവിതം ഭയങ്കരമായിട്ട് അതായത് തെലുങ്ക് തമിഴ് എല്ലാ ലാംഗ്വേജസിലേക്കും ഹിന്ദിയിലേക്കും ഒക്കെ വന്നിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നു അപ്പൊ മാം അപ്പൊ അങ്ങനെ ഭയങ്കര അപ്ഡേറ്റഡ് ആയിട്ട് ഫിലിംസ് ഒക്കെ കാണുന്ന ഒരാളല്ലേ ഇപ്പൊ നോട്ട് എനി മോർ യൂസ്ഡ് and you know dad is very strict and very orthodox family so even modeling was very difficult and i had to beg him and then uh -huh. my dad and i'd be like you know i'll be fine and stuff like that and then i started doing ads and when films were offered he was completely no 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 and until balachandar sir spoke to dad and mm. dad had a lot of respect for balachandar mm. sir and uh, sir was like don't worry sir she's an educated girl she will look after herself you don't need to worry so much and that's when he showed me the green signal oh so that is how my film line started started yeah appo adinu shesham pinnide maam and nirthiva veetarku santoshayirunnu okay angane actually yes <laughs> <laughs> because uh, you know when uh, it was time to tie the knot mm -hmm. um, you know i was still thinking because i had such amazing projects mm. uh but then i again i had the calling oh. so you see i go by the calling, calling okay. i listen to that inner calling and i felt no it's time now and, and it was a beautiful exit meenakshi Shariana. because you win the critics award you're up there mm. and then you take the exit you know exactly. i think that's a nice way to true 
yeah to leave that's why maybe people still remember me mm. maybe, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, i'm the no par na projects are the ma'am na norma okay so mm. i remember one mm. uh, it was with mamuti sir which one was it i have no memory of it mm. i actually had to turn down an uh, um uh, a show which was happening in dubai mm-hmm. and that was the similar time when uh, mamuti sir's project was being spoken about okay. so i think that is like the big thing that i had to do at sir, that time sir mai hate varan and there film it was a uh, mamuti sir's film and it was happening simultaneously with the dubai show oh. so i had to say no to that and the talks were on nothing was finalized mm. so i had to exit that way so I mean, it's okay yeah, it's okay. yeah. <laughs> part of life in all reality yeah. le yeah. from mammootty sir ne kooda la film ne edut no paranju engilum adhehathinte kooda oru cameo lengil oru partile vannittunde black nu parana cinema le ma'am aa part undallo innu mittu inga dance kalikatha oru aalilla nammada amballa pulath you know to say no i'm not saying <laughs> but i have to tell you this beautiful experience i had with mammootty sir yeah. so we were in a show and because in that movie i came only in that song mm. so i didn't have any scene with mamuti sir right mm-hmm. so but we did a show together i think we'd gone to inaugurate or we were there in the show together and i was so nervous to talk mm. to him and he was like me no don't be so nervous you'll be fine mm. you know and then that was the similar time the talk was going on for a project, project you know okay. so he said and that time i was wearing powder chatte mm. so he said Ah, you have to act with me, okay? You'll have to wear sari then. Uh-huh. So he said. I said okay, and then he just very laughingly said, "Actually, you'll be very nice with my son." Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, DQ, oh, yeah. <laughs> DQ, and the cinema <laughs> library is not done yet. But actually, in the DQ is also I know. a huge star. Yes, <laughs> I know, I know. Now, when I am Bala Pura, I was doing the part in that. I know. That is Mamu kind of dance numbers. The top notch is like another part. I know. Okay. And I think uh, Rahman sir made yes, a comeback. Yes, I remember. Yes. Like, yes, because Rahman sir is also an amazing dancer. So, uh, see, you know what I loved about the Malayalam industry mm. is that. you know when when a scene is happening i'm surrounded with not less than five national award winners mm. okay and i did not know the language mm. i did not know the mannerism because malayalam is all about subtle acting mm. you know and i'm always over the top uh. okay i'm a bharatanatyam dancer uh. so my expressions are loud mm. my hand movements are loud mm. you know so i had to subtle down and tone down my acting in malayalam that itself was a big job mm. for me so I think that was the most interesting part of doing Malayalam films because you're surrounded with na- like Nedi Mudi Venu sir and mm-hmm. all you know they are such amazing actors mm-hmm. to be surrounded by them and then to perform and everybody would teach me you mm-hmm. know um I think it was great teamwork exactly so yeah. I I loved those days yeah. I do uh, like avare rendu perum adinathu ullad kondano aa oru cameo aayalum cheyyam nu vicharichathu and also mm-hmm. could you share a beautiful memory from that day okay yes I think I can. <laughs> so I was actually doing Ponmudi Pulayorath uh, at that time. Ponmudi Pulayorath. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. And uh so that was a very uh, no makeup uh, uh. downplay kind of a character. Uh. So when this song came mm. um my director was like but me no you know you're doing this character in this movie and that's an item number mm-hmm. you know so um how will your costume be because we don't want it to be over the top because you're doing this film simultaneously so I did speak to sir oh. and uh, I said sir I'm doing this film also and this is what they're saying and they were like no no we we'll look into it and that's why i'm just wearing like a, a fisherman skirtum. costume ah, which hmm. is like it it's not like a typical item number ah, there, there, you know there. costume or a skirt to more top of yeah like a lungi color. and ah, there, white there, there, top there. and just put the sleeve in and, and i think um um uh, kala master or um uh kala master sister mm. i think they were mm. uh, choreographing the mm. song and i love both of them and i've done a lot of dance shows with them so um we were shooting and there were certain shots that had to be taken back to back and they only wanted my expressions mm. so we finished all the dance numbers because i think sir had to leave or something we finished everything and then uh, after they left it was only expressions mm. so they say okay this expression and i'll have to give one expression that expression i'll have to give this expression so at the end of the shoot they made this big comment saying you know she can give one 200 expressions in just 5 <laughs> minutes <laughs> you know that was my experience mm. but it was amazing because amazing dancer 
uh, that he is. Um, I had a fantastic time. I think we finished that song in a day or something. Or this song? Yeah, I think we finished it. മമ്മൂക്കൻ്റെ കൂടെ ആ ഒരു വേഷം മിസ് ആയതിൽ എന്തെങ്കിലും ഒരു വിഷമമുണ്ടോ പിന്നീട് ഞാൻ ചോദിക്കട്ടെ ഇപ്പം എനിക്കൊരു ലാസ്റ്റ് ആയിട്ട് അഭിനയിച്ചത് ചാക്കോച്ചൻ്റെ ഒപ്പം ആയിരുന്നു തോന്നുന്നു മലയാളത്തിൽ അല്ലെ ചാക്കോച്ചൻ ഇന്ന് നമ്മുടെ ഫേവറേറ്റ് ഫോർ അവർ ആണോ ഇപ്പോഴും കോൺടാക്ട് ഉണ്ടോ നോട്ട് റൈറ്റ് നോ അപ്പൊ ദെൻ അറ്റ് ടൈം യു നോ ഹിസ് ഹിസ് സച്ച് എ വെരി ഹംബിൾ സിമ്പിൾ നൈസ് പേഴ്സൺ ഐ തിങ്ക് ഹിസ് ഫാദർ പാസ്റ്റ് വേ അറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ടൈം സോ വി ഓൾ ഹാഡ് ഗോൺ ഫോർ ദ funeral mm-hmm. and he's a very simple humble mm-hmm. very nice person ma yeah. mamnu kude abine charakke ita ippulum oru communication ulladu i'm not in touch with any aaru <laughs> edile <laughs> <laughs> no um no actually no not no. rajayatan like prithiraj no not chakochan nobody no. no i think because if if i was in touch with them you would have got the contact number ah. right? <laughs> so yeah i just i did the vanishing act oppa ee interview kaanumbo ellaru hoy നെടുമുടി വേണു സാറൊക്കെ ഭയങ്കര ക്ലോസ് ആണെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നു അതേപോലെ തന്നെ നമ്മൾ ആക്ച്വലി എല്ലാരും ഭയങ്കരമായിട്ട് ഞെട്ടിപ്പോയ ഒരു ന്യൂസ് ആയിരുന്നു തരുണിയുടെ അപ്പം ഇങ്ങനെയുള്ള ന്യൂസ് ഒക്കെ മാം എങ്ങനെയാണ് ഇപ്പം ലൈക് യു നോ ദർ ഓൺ സോഷ്യൽ മീഡിയ ആൻഡ് സ്റ്റാഫ് സോ അപ്പം ഹൗ ഡു യു ഗെറ്റ് ഐ ടെൽ യു ബിക്കോസ് തരുണി വാസ് എക്സ്ട്രീംലി ക്ലോസ് ടു മീ ആൻഡ് സോ വാസ് ഹർ മദർ ആൻഡ് ദർ മാനേജർ അഞ്ജു ഇസ് ദ വൺ ഹൂസ് ഗോയിങ് ടു ബി മാനേജിങ് മൈ വർക്ക് ഓക്കെ സോ ഷി വാസ് എ ലീഡിങ് കോർഡിനേറ്റർ ഫ്രം ബോംബെ ആൻഡ് ഷി വാസ് മാനേജിങ് ദർ വർക്ക് സോ വെൻ വി ഡിഡ് വെലി നക്ഷത്രം വി ഓൾ ബിക്കേം ലൈക് വൺ ഫാമിലി ഓക്കെ anju uh, you know taruni her mother we all we all would like in the night after the shoot catch up in each other's rooms mm-hmm. you know have a little get together and they were very very close in fact anju went into a terrible depression when oh. her dear friend because taruni's mother was her very very close friend and uh, but she's now out of it it was very disturbing because i got a call from anju okay. saying that this thing has happened what was your first reaction after hearing it and you know you start questioning the existence of god, god. sometimes mm-hmm. because they had gone for a pilgrimage oh. and uh, they uh, tarunis mother was extremely pious very religious person mm-hmm. like even when she's in the shot when tarunis mm-hmm. in the shot she's always having oh. the mala okay. and extremely religious okay. so sometimes you wonder why these things happen because they had gone for a pilgrimage trip mm-hmm. and this incident happened so it was very very disturbing uh but i think we have to move on yeah you know? well, ma'am poi irno kaananayite no they it all happened very fast because mm. there was a lot of procedure that was happening in bombay mm. and uh, when she came to bangalore that's mm. when i got to know anju when she came to bangalore now she is in bangalore mm. and uh, that's how i got the news but it was very very disturbing നേരത്തെ ഈ സോഷ്യൽ മീഡിയയുടെ കാര്യം പറഞ്ഞല്ലോ അതായത് എവിടെ ചെന്നാലും ഈ പാപ്പരാസി ന്യൂസും സംഭവങ്ങൾ ഇതൊക്കെ അന്നും ഉണ്ട് ലൈക് വെൻ യു ആർ ഇൻ ദിംസ് ആ സമയത്തും ഉണ്ട് അപ്പൊ ഡെഫിനറ്റ്ലി കുറെ സ്ഥലത്തൊക്കെ ന്യൂസുകൾ ആ സമയത്ത് വന്നിട്ടുണ്ടാവും കൂടെ അഭിനയിച്ച നടന്മാർക്ക് ക്രഷ് തോന്നിയ നായിക എന്നൊക്കെയുള്ള രീതിയിലുള്ള ഇതൊക്കെ മാഗസീൻസിലൊക്കെ വായിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് അതിലൊക്കെ എന്തെങ്കിലും സത്യം ഉണ്ട് ആരെങ്കിലും അങ്ങനെ വന്നൊരു ഇഷ്ടമൊക്കെ പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ടോ from the media yeah like uh, from no. your coast or something no 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 <laughs> see if you uh, this time that you've spent with me mm. you'll know that i'm a very friendly person yes i'm a very easy going person so i just become friends very easily and that makes a very healthy working atmosphere mm. so i think there's no i don't think there was any gossip either because mm-hmm. i am not a gossip material mm. you know <laughs> i think uh, even he will know now about me mm. in just this 10 15 minutes that i'm a very friendly happy person mm. and i i also have a strict boundary around me okay. and I, i i i make it clear to people mm. that you know there is a boundary and and i'm a friendly person person so i have never i've enjoyed i've had a great working relationship with all my co-stars mm-hmm. 
and it was it was a very pleasant time pleasant time, pleasant time. Pleasant time. i don't think i've had any gossip mm. yeah anale yeah yana ka samayath bhayanga chadha adu enik ariyana illa no so i think i had gossip uh, yeah, like ma'am abhinichittulla paattukal ee dance number hits ok bhayangara hit aanu adayidu matte nammal nerathu kalichala kalla kalla pinne dance number allengil koodi velli nakshatrathile chakkare kili nu parayna paattukku bhayangaramayittu aalkarku ishtalla paattu appo adile one of my favorites aanu ഒരു ചിരി കണ്ടീൻ So it's quite amazing that there must be something really I think I'm very blessed mm. that I've done very few films I've not done like you know that many films I've done very few films but the love and the appreciation that I've got mm. I'm still getting mm. and that is nothing but the blessing true e uh, ഒരു ചിരി കണ്ടാൽ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന പാട്ടുണ്ടല്ലോ അത് മാം ഇൻസ്റ്റഗ്രാമിൽ ഇല്ലാത്തത് കൊണ്ട് ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞു തരാം അത് വളരെ റീസെന്റ് ആയിട്ട് കുറച്ച് പിള്ളേര് അവരത് റീക്രിയേറ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നു മണ്ണിൽ കിടന്ന് യാ വെയറിംഗ് ദറ്റ് ബ്ലാക്ക് സാരി ഞാനത് കാണുവാണെങ്കിൽ കിട്ടുവാണെങ്കിൽ ഇന്റർവ്യൂ കഴിയുമ്പോൾ ഞാൻ കാണിച്ചു തരാം അപ്പൊ അവരത് മിമിക് ചെയ്ത് ഒന്ന് റീക്രിയേറ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ ശ്രമിച്ചിരുന്നു അപ്പൊ അതിനകത്ത് അവര് പറയുന്നത് ഭയങ്കര മണലൊക്കെ വെച്ചിട്ടേ പാടായിരുന്നു അപ്പൊ ഞാൻ ഓർത്തത് ശരിക്കും ചെയ്ത മാമിന് എങ്ങനെ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നിരിക്കുന്നു ഫുൾ മണൽ വെച്ചിട്ട് നിങ്ങൾ ഇങ്ങനെ ഉരുണ്ടൊക്കെ ഡാൻസ് ആയിരുന്നു fun actually <laughs> it was not difficult <laughs> it was fun we had a lot of fun do- doing that 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 film was quite uh, heavy on me because mm. the storyline was like that mm. you know um but again i think i think uh, uh, nedimudi venu sir was there to be no makeup for that film and you know that you have to put your hair down and do that possession and everything was an experience mm. i loved I, i i love adventurous different kind of Mm. roles mm. and uh, i think that movie was quite intense for me yeah yeah, yeah. ഇപ്പൊ ഇത്രയും നേരത്തെ ഒരു കോൺവെർസേഷൻ എന്ന് എനിക്ക് തോന്നിയതാണ് മാം മലയാളം ഇൻഡസ്ട്രിയിൽ ഫിലിംസ് ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ടിരുന്ന അത്രയും നാളും നെടുമുടി വീണു സാറിന്റെ മാമിൽ നല്ലൊരു ഇൻഫ്ലുവൻസ് ഉണ്ടാക്കാൻ പറ്റിയിട്ടുണ്ട് എനിക്ക് തോന്നിയിട്ടുണ്ട് ഷുഡ് ബി യു നോ എവറിങ് വാസ് ഈവൻ ഷീല മാം ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് മൂവി യു നോ വാസ് എ ഗ്രേറ്റ് ഹെൽപ് ഷി ടോട്ട് മീ അലോട്ട് ഓഫ് തിങ്സ് സോ യു നോ വെൻ യു വിത്ത് സച്ച് എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ്ഡ് അവാർഡ് വിനിങ് പീപ്പിൾ ഐ തിങ്ക് you are really lucky to be with them and to learn things from them appo ivarude ki oru wear bad inde samayathe like vannu vannu kaananayittu adha oru media attention um idu ma'am adine petti idu conscious avarund adhe ipo nedumudi venu sir okke marichu samayathe ma'am ne vannu kaanan pattirunno no i i had not come to kerala at all mm. in fact uh, i still remember uh, you know at that time i was in east africa mm. and i didn't i didn't know about this mm. and then i think i came it was like a uh, a three week trip mm. i was in a safari in east africa and then i came back after mm. three weeks and i got to know and it was such a shock for me um to know that he had moved on so yeah i was not even here i i didn't even know you know the date i got to know it three weeks later oh yeah, yeah. okay yeah so it was tough yes ഇപ്പം എന്തായാലും ഈ ഇന്റർവ്യൂ ഹാപ്പൻ ചെയ്തു ഇപ്പം ഇവിടെ ഒരു ഷൂട്ട് നടന്നു അപ്പൊ പയ്യെ ആ ഒരു കോളിംഗ് വന്നിട്ട് യു ആ ഹിയർ ഇപ്പം സിനിമയിൽ നിന്ന് പോയ നടിമാർ അതായത് ഇപ്പൊ സംയുക്ത മേനനൊക്കെ സംയുക്ത മാം ഒക്കെ ഇപ്പം ഇൻസ്റ്റാഗ്രാമിലൊക്കെ ഭയങ്കര ആക്റ്റീവ് ആണ് ഡു യു ഹാവ് എനി പ്ലാൻസ് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് അപ്പ് ഇൻസ്റ്റാഗ്രാം അക്കൗണ്ട് ഐ ഡോ തിങ്ക് സോ ഐ ഡോ ഐ ഡോ നോ ഐ ഡോ നോ ആസ് ഓഫ് നോ 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 പ്ലാൻസ് Mm, though my friends are all into all this and mm. they'll be like listen we'll manage your account okay, yeah. just just do it and <laughs> i'm like yeah maybe for that also i need a calling ah. you know so <laughs> when i get a calling for that then maybe i'll do it all right in wikipedia le njan nerthu parnalla ma'am ne petti valare limited informations e ullu adu njan eduthu vechittunde appo adu or true or false aano nu ma'am parayanu okay adu false anengil please correct it idu kandittu wikipedia ki maatalo okay yeah please yeah so we'll go yes 
ശരിക്കുള്ള മാമിന്റെ പേര് മരിയ മാർഗറ്റ് ഷാമിലി ഇറ്റ്സ് മരിയ മാർഗറ്റ് ഷർമിലി 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 മീൻസ് ഷൈനസ് and i am a catholic so mm. maria is for mother mary mm. and margaret is my grandmother's name okay okay so that's my full name maria mary Ma- no maria margaret maria? which is a catholic yeah. name and but my real name is sharmi sharmili or edake sharmila nu kedidunde nammu adinathu sharmila nu baar idittundavu no sharmili means shyness in hindi mm. so yeah so that's why i told you know my mm. dad loved this sharmila tagore mm. song oh meri oh meri oh meri sharmili mm. so he loved that song and he named me sharmili sharmili yes. angane vanna perana okay so that's true tick tick adutha mm. born and raised in kolanjeri pattanandita district no allah <laughs> not at all not at all i uh, my mom is from uti mm mm-hmm. so i was born in coimbatore okay and i came to kerala only for doing ads mm. so that's how my entry to otherwise i've not stepped into kerala ah ellaru othrukku malayalam ana malayalam illa to so i'm not a malayali no <laughs> okay adutha chennai la stella maris and mathematics aanu yes. padichathu so now you see i did bsc math from stella maris and then mca mc that's yeah. masters in computers from mm. loyola all right yeah. okay and so the, then see i didn't take another break to study i think i had studied enough enough yes ah. yes but adam tick tick okay and the hosted a popular phoning program yeah. kasamele yes. on jaya tv yes it was the top rated show mm-hmm. called kasamele on jaya tv mm. and um, in fact i i don't remember what i told you i was the only model mm. who didn't have a portfolio mm. but i've done i do not know how many ads Oh because of this TV show called Kasamele it's a live show mm. and which happens once a week and there is absolutely no script given mm. it's just me talking like How this How old were you then Well um I think I just turned 16 ah. <laughs> No I'm kidding but whatever <laughs> it was that that long yeah I was quite young mm. and that show gave me all the popularity and all the fame mm. and because it was a live show and I think I connected with each and every household oh so I didn't need a portfolio mm. and that's how I started doing ads and everything mm. under the sun so I think I should be really thankful to my show called Kasamele that is a tick tick okay ini adutha the mamor interview in edayile paranja oru sambhavam aanu enikku vera other language films akke cheyadene kaatilum ishtam malayala movies cheyanaanu kaaranam adile characters ne bayangara depth undavu yes absolutely i think even now i told you right so that's absolutely right a tick oh. yes i i don't know i've always been see i i've done theater mm-hmm. okay and i love the process of doing theater because there are no retakes mm. you're just on the stage you're performing you know mm. i i get a th- till when there is no retake uh. because what you say is what you say you do a mistake you're screwed okay. you okay. know so so among all the languages uh when i would watch i would love doing a bengali film hmm actually you know bengali films also attract me and malayalam films their stories their depth no makeup hmm. so i'm happy when there's no makeup hmm. you know your your real self what more do you need it's 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 thrilling yeah recently they did a malayalam cinema kandirunno yes which one oh, and i cried and cried and cried and hats off to you mamuti sir and jyotika ma'am it was kadal kadal kandirunnale i loved the film uh-huh. and i think after a very very long time i cried you know uh-huh. it was so beautiful and another movie that uh-huh. i like of mamuti sir is uh, ore kadal ore kadal which has meera jasmin and mamuti sir uh-huh. such a brilliant film mm. you know i i think they should have won the national award for it oh. it was so brilliant you know so yes so the recent film was this uh kadal kadal you uh. know i think it was such a brilliant concept mm. told in a very subtle yet very powerful manner exactly and their equation you know in that movie that is kadal right mm. that is that is love yeah. you know uh for doing things for each other for each other to be happy mm. and to help the other person to get out of the closet is uh, is a brilliant movie especially at the present time when we, when we need to accept a lot of things and when people are getting out of their closet so i think it's a brilliant story told in a crisp but yet a powerful manner exactly. so yes i love the film oh. see i watched cinema like kanarunde i saw this yeah appo endale njan parayana mam ini poi aadu jeevitham kaanam 
മാമിന് ഇഷ്ടപ്പെട്ട രണ്ട് ഹോബീസ് എന്തൊക്കെയാണ് so i love uh, practicing my dance okay and i'm a lot into yoga mm. but hobby wise i don't know i uh, i do a lot of yoga i do i'm a lot into energy and healing mm. and spirituality mm. i i don't know whether all that falls under hobbies mm. so um no i uh, yeah that's about it i can't think of any hobby hobby angare vannilla nalle okay പെട്ടെന്ന് മാമിന് ദേഷ്യം വരുന്ന ഒരു സ്വഭാവം ഇതുവരെ സംസാരിച്ചത് ഭയങ്കര ശാന്തമാണ് ആള് പെട്ടെന്ന് ദേഷ്യം വരുന്ന ഒരു സ്വഭാവം ഇറിറ്റേറ്റ് മീ I don't like gossiping. Mm. I don't like talking about other people's lives. Um yeah, these are things which I don't like and I am a person who moves away. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't like any kind of negative talk. Mm. So I'll just move away. Mm. You know, I won't be in that place. Mm. I won't encourage the conversation. Mm. But these are things I dislike. Well, you know, uh especially hypocrisy is something that I really I really can't take. I don't like fake people. Mm. you be who you are and people will love you for it yes. you know if minakshi is the way she is and and see that's the meaning no um if i'm going to fake and get your love mm. what a waste True. because that's the fake me if i am who i am even if you dislike me it's okay right that's but me. that's me exactly right? so yeah. i believe in that and i don't like when people fake it yeah i don't like fakers okay <laughs> yeah yeah anyway it was so cool talking to you ma'am you. and i'm veendum parayana i'm finally very happy to yeah, me meet too. you me too me too yeah velli yeah. nakshatram ende or favorite cinema ana yeah. chandana mugile nu parayna paattu ekkum ellarum ippolu ayinde reels okke varum itra sundriyaai yakshi vinayan sir kondu vannu nakka parangitte avan interview ayinde peyinen or cliche question aanu ennalle njan choyikka annu kanda or saundaryam innum ide pole engane nilanu oh my god <laughs> <laughs> this is like a very very shy moment no i don't know i don't know i i don't know i think it this comes from this okay and if you are clean and if you are positive and if you're spiritually inclined uh it comes to your face wow that's all i think yeah i think in the um the heart uh, the the clean the, you you know messy things you just keep it clean and pure and simple I think that's what comes on your face. That's it. Beautiful. Yeah. So thank you so much ma'am. It was wonderful talking thank to you. Enda thonane ipo korchu naalukalukku shesham or interview okka koduthittu. I don't feel it's like an interview. I feel like I'm talking to a friend. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I feel I really did you feel like no. it's an interview? Yeah. So that's how I am. Hmm. It's just a, a very personal conversation but it's just that a lot of people are going to watch. Yes. And uh, yeah, it's not an interview at all. Did you feel it's an interview? No, no it's no. just a friendly conversation. Yeah, that's all. So, thank you so much. Ab we are hoping him Meenakshi ni verum. Well, if it be the will of God. Yeah. Yes. So yes. thank you so much ma'am. Thank you. Thank you guys. I love you. Thank you. Love you too. Love you. <laughs>